Hi there, Chris here. I just got this cool padlock. Uh, it's an old steel one. And the key got bent in shipping. <laughs> no, I'm just woofing you. That's how it's supposed to be. Because it, it, it has a slant, slant key opening. It works quite nicely. <laughs> I'm so full of it. Um, yeah, but it's a very cool radio lock. Radio. And that's the key. And that's the bidding. And it appears to be the original key. And if I hold this upright, you can see why the key is like that. So, if I was any good with little wires and stuff yet, um, I would be able to pick this. Although, it feels like there's only one, it feels like there's only one lever in there. There's no way to see inside there. There's nothing really to see, I don't think. I don't think I can rotate this and focus. So what is going on? Can't see anything. I can't see anything. Anyway, very cool luck. Just got it. <laughs> Zoom a giant, giant, um, Postal Service box. I mean, huge. Don't ask me why, but I'm very glad that it got here. And it's a very cool lock. And it does say made in USA. So, thanks for watching this, just a quickie. Um, and, excuse me, Cherokee. So, all of these knockoff Lockwoods or Schlockwoods if you want. Um, I got quite a while ago. Well, not quite a while ago, but a while ago. And I've picked a couple with my Lishi. I thought I would make a key for one of these and see. Actually, I should pick a couple of them and see if it's the same bidding. But I will make a key and maybe I'll do a video of, of making a key from the Lishi, uh, pick it with the Lishi and then decode it with the Lishi and make a key. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, watch out for that spam bot, spam bot guy who's on my channel all the time and I, I zap him and he comes right back and I zap him again. And I zap him on YouTube Studio and I zap him on YouTube. So, and any of you people who see that before I get to zap him, feel free to zap him. You know, hit the report, hit the spam, and report it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe. Um, we will see you next time.